Good morning, tubers. It is 7.15 in the morning, and we are currently drawing 285 watts of power from my inverter, the batteries, both, I guess you'd say. Um, this is 30 days, uh, give or take a day, I think, um, that this has been running off my 18650 power wall. And look, I've said it a few times before, but I am as stoked as all get out. I just can't believe how well this works. Uh, I can't believe how regularly that turns off when I'm going to use it. So basically, let's have a look at some figures. A battery voltage is still 26.7 volts. We are charging at 1.2 amps. We are drawing, where is it, that we're drawing 280 watts. We got 26.7 volts. We started using this last night. It's about, uh, about 3.30 yesterday afternoon. We lost we lost solar. The, cl the clouds started coming out. So at this point, so at 3.30, I changed it over to battery. And it's 7 o'clock now. So that's a good few hours it's been running. And it's still at 26.7 volts. I just, look, I've said this a million times, but how cool is that? All right, let's go inside and throw a load on it and see how much that 26.7 volts drops under a nice big fat heavy load. Okay, so a few minutes later we're in the kitchen. Okay, we just turn the microwave on. What is it? 192 watts, it's coming up. <coughs> There you go, so it's almost 2,000 watts. Can't turn too much other stuff on because then it'll go over. It's hard to balance. Let's look up here, still 26.1 volts at 80 amp draw. Let's leave that on for an entire minute. That was 30 seconds. Bounces back up to 6.4. Right, that's on for another minute, so that's a minute and a half. Some riveting TV, and I can't hold the camera straight. This is what I mean, guys. This, these batteries just amaze me with their ability to store energy. Look, we've taken 200 amp hours out of the batteries last night, and they're still above 26 volts under an 80 amp load. Be it only just, but I'll take it. Wow, my hand's shaking. I feel like I've got Tourette's. No, Tourette's is the one where you swear. Parkinson, moving around, jittering like crazy. That. We're still drawing 200 watt, um, 1800, 1900 watts. It's finished. Drops back down. So we've lost probably, uh, what was it, 6.2? 26.62, I think. So we've lost almost nothing from the batteries. 6.3, now it's bouncing back again. That is awesome. I could talk about this all day long. I mean, you know, you put toaster on. Uh, toaster, and it's not clean. But who cares, everyone's just had breakfast. Both sides of the toaster down, 16, 1800 watts. And still cracking away. 26.15 in the toaster. Both the toaster elements are on. I'll show you actually what I'll do is I'll show you because this is going to be a riveting interesting video of nothing with my kids walking around the background what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the microwave on as well which is going to force it to go back to grid oh, I didn't even see it 3100 3006 so if you see there 
the inverter switch from um, from battery to line bypass because we draw, drew too much from the batteries. So that's how that works. I probably should also show you. Um, it's 36, so it'll happen in a second now. I'm still in line bypass mode. Now, exactly 10 minutes after it went, it changed states. So from uh, from battery to line. There we go. It automatically switches from line back to battery again, or grid back to battery. So it, it tells that we're not over voltage anymore, over, over current or whatever, and then clicks back to battery automatically. So I don't have to do any of that. So that's how that works. Anyway, YouTube, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.